The Federal Reserve raised interest rates by the largest amount since 1994. The Fed raised the key interest rate three quarters of a point. This, of course, is an effort to calm inflation now at its highest rate in 40 years. CBS 4 Skylar Henry has more details on this from the White House now. Skylar. Hey, Jim and Lauren, good to be with you both. Well, the move means that Americans with significant credit card debt will certainly have to pay more. Also, Americans looking to buy a new car with a loan will also have to pay more as the Fed looks to combat this significant inflation surge. U.S. stocks closed slightly higher after the Federal Reserve raised its benchmark interest rate by three quarters of a percentage point. We have both the tools we need and the resolve that it will take to restore price stability on behalf of American families and businesses. Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell said he doesn't see signs of a broad economic slowdown as the central bank tries to tackle a 40-year high inflation. Inflation has obviously uh, surprised to the upside over the past year and further surprises could be in store. American families are now spending almost $350 more per month than they did last year to buy these same products, with prices at the gas pump hitting a national average of $5 per gallon for regular, according to AAA. What does this mean for Americans in terms of their pocketbooks? Well, if you're a borrower, this could be bad news. If you have a credit card balance, it's going to cost more to service that debt. If you're going out and buying a new car with a car loan, it's going to be more expensive. Wednesday, President Biden sent letters to several major oil companies pushing them to increase their supply of gasoline and diesel while also calling out their record profits. We know where to put the blame on the war, but uh, oil companies, they have oil refineries, they have responsibility too. Now he's trying to demagogue energy uh, companies. Florida's Republican Governor Ron DeSantis criticized President Biden's policies when Wednesday, while the American Petroleum Institute called on the president to prioritize unlocking U.S. energy resources ahead of his planned trip to the Middle East next month. Now, the Federal Reserve also warned about a possible uptick in terms of unemployment numbers to about 4.1 percent over the next few years. Jerome Powell, the Fed chair, also saying that it is impossible, sort of, to predict what the economy will look like over the next two years. Guys. All right, Skylar Henry reporting from the White House. Skylar, thank you very much.